Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA, and today we're at one of my favorite places in all of New Jersey, Mitsua Marketplace. Now, Mitsua is located in North Jersey in that Edgewater Fort Lee area, which is home to a very large Japanese population. Now, we're gonna check out some of the market selections for a bit, but my favorite thing about this place is the food court. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're here in Mitsua Marketplace here in Edgewater or Fort Lee. I'm not sure which of these this is. And it's a pretty cool market with all sorts of Japanese ingredients and produce. But I saw something that's calling my name. There's like a whole arcade and uh, capsule machines little section here. Let's check it out. Now they have some delicate Japanese snacks that you're only gonna get at Japanese grocery stores. And every Japanese market needs a selection of fresh fish. Now if you guys have any kids, they sell Pokemon face masks. Are you Team Pikachu, Team Eevee, or me, I'm Team Slowpoke. These are just the most perfect strawberries I've ever seen. They look like they're from a cartoon. They've got a whole wall of Pocky here. I'm a huge Pocky fan, by the way. Ah, Wagyu steak. This one isn't too pricey. That's enough shopping though, let's check out the food court. Now this place Hanosuke specializes in tempura, and they have all sorts of combination plates here. There's a ramen shop with all sorts of ramen styles from all over Japan. This place sells all sorts of miscellaneous Japanese foods, like katsu, broiled fish, and Japanese curry. People don't realize that curry is a big thing in Japan. And this place, Tokyo Hantan, sells all sorts of Japanese-ified international foods, like hamburg steak, Chinese mapa dofu, dumplings, kimchi fried rice, seafood stir fries, and more. Hey guys, it's a few days later. Now, unfortunately, we had some sound issues, so I lost most of the sound of me eating while commenting, but let me tell you about the food right now. So we wound up getting three meals. We got Japanese hamburg steak, we got beef udon, and we got spicy miso ramen. Let's start with the udon. The beef was brothy, but udon is not ramen. So the beef was brothy, but it wasn't too strong. It was beefy, but in a subtle way. But the star of the show of udon is the noodles. And those thick udon noodles at Mitsua were chewy, had a nice spring to it, definitely handmade and not from a bag. And that's why you go to a Japanese market to eat it. Let's move on to our next bowl of noodles, ramen. Now, spicy miso ramen is like other end of the spectrum from udon. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but ramen is actually a Japanese Chinese food, kind of like General Tso's chicken in the States. It's a bowl of Chinese noodles with Japanese elements in it. And because of that, unlike udon, the noodles are thinner, they're very springy, which is a characteristic of Chinese noodles. The broth was rich, fatty, really porky and meaty, delicious, and the best part, that piece of pork chashu, it was fatty and it melted in your mouth. Last, but in my opinion not least, Japanese hamburg steak. Now, I really wanted to show you guys this because it was really unique and it's not a Japanese food that you hear about every day and many of you might not even know about it. Now, true to its German roots, you get a piece of meat in hamburger form, a ground beef patty, but served next to a bed of rice. And that sauce, totally Asian sauce. Soy sauce based, chili oil showing some of that Chinese influence. And let me tell you, I never knew that hamburg steak and fried rice was such a great combination. With that Asian sauce on top, mix it with that fluffy starchy rice. Oh, it just works. Don't knock it till you try it. And the last thing that I wanted to highlight, they gave me some chicken soup to pair with my hamburg steak. And it wasn't just a throwaway cheap appetizer. That chicken soup you could taste was made from real chicken bones, definitely not from a can. You could really taste that chicken essence in every drop. Not an exaggeration, I see why they gave it in a cup because I downed it in just two gulps. That delicious. Anyways guys, if you're ever in that Fort Lee Edgewater area, 
definitely check out Mitsuwa Japanese Market whenever you get a chance. It's like a magical portal to the other side of the world to far away Japan. Only unlike actually going to Japan, you get to skip that 15 hour plane ride, no need for jet lag or language barrier. Check out Mitsuwa if you want a taste of the real Japan just in North Jersey. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this vid. If you like my content, make sure you like and subscribe. Now I bought a ton of Japanese snacks that I still need to finish from my trip. Until next time, I'll see you later.